Hey guys, Thunder E here, and with me I have the Galaxy S23 Plus. This is the middle child in the Galaxy S23 line, and welcome to our gaming video on this device. Now, if you join us for the very first time, uh, we do videos like this, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button notification icon to get notified with new videos. So the S23 Plus uh, comes in priced at $999, and it's very different from the Galaxy S23 Ultra. When you look at them side by side, you can see there's a clear difference in height, as well as also design, uh, where the S23 uh, Plus has more rounded corners, more streamlined look, also has a flat, glass of course in the front with uh, Gorilla Glass Victus 2 as opposed to the curved glass that you have on the S23 Ultra. Lovely display but the resolution is 2340 by 1080 so it's a 1080p display it is not a QHD display and uh, this is still 120 hertz display in, in total. Now your peak brightness goes up to 1750 so you do have that capability built in there which is really nice. Now in terms of the other specs of cameras, they are listed on screen for both the rear and the front, uh, but we're focusing on gaming in this video. So this device is powered by the Snapdragon uh, 8th Gen, Gen 2 for Galaxy, uh, similar to what we have in the Ultra as well. And it has a 4,700 milliamp battery. Now you can get this, of course, starting at 256 gigabytes and moving up. And I have it in that green color here. So. What about performance? Will, be, will there be any differences between the S23 Ultra compared to this, especially since it has the same processor, same amount of RAM, all that fun stuff uh, built into there. So let's start off, of course, with the most important thing that a lot of people like to see, which are benchmarks. And looking at our, at our Geekbench scores, we can see that single core score is 1539, multi-core scores are 4861. So in line and very similar to the S23 Ultra, so you can expect basically same benchmarks there. And when we go to, to uh, compute scores, it's 10,963, also in line with the S23 Ultra. So performance wise, at least just on paper, it's about the same. Now, what about the games? As you know, we have a slow games usually test, and we're gonna start off, of course, with Call of Duty Mobile. Now, Call of Duty Mobile runs really well on this device, very smooth, no slowdowns, looked actually pretty nice. Uh, frame rate was at 90 frames per second for our gameplay period. And some of you have asked, of course, what are the settings? Here are the settings on screen for what I actually did uh, to reach those uh, benchmarks, and that's what I did with Call of Duty uh, Mobile. Now, when we move over to Apex Legends, rip Apex Legends, but that was, uh, in terms of settings, that was set at uh, Ultra HD Ultra, and we played the game for quite a bit of time, and we got a solid 60 frames per second playing, of course, Battle Royale, uh, also very smooth and effective. Now, when we move over to PUBG Mobile, we actually ran the game in three different settings. We did Smooth Extreme, HDR Extreme, and Ultra HD Ultra. So starting off gameplay in Smooth Extreme, we got a solid smooth 60 frames per second, as we expected. Very smooth, very nice, uh, absolutely solid. Then we moved over to HDR Extreme, where we got another 60 frames per second on here, smooth gameplay. Uh, as you would expect. And finally, Ultra HD Ultra, we're able to get 40 frames per second. Now, a lot of you have mentioned that, you know, um, we're not getting 90 frames per second for PUBG Mobile. That's just for the developers, of course, to optimize for it, which we haven't seen yet. And also these devices are not officially on the market as, as to the point when I made this video. So that could change in the future. But as we're seeing right now, the S23 Plus matches the S23 Ultra in terms of benchmarks as also gaming performance. Now, some of you have asked me, what do I use for my benchmark tool? I use a tool called GameBench, which I connect to my laptop to actually get the readout. So that is what I use for the benchmark tools. Just wanted to show you there. But as we move over to Genshin Impact, this is where we see some very uh, interesting performance, which is basically the same as the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Played for 30 minutes and we got 60 frames per second dipped a little bit low to 59 but again it's pretty much the same there solid performance uh, ran pretty smooth settings were also max settings at 60 frames extreme as you would expect in Genshin 
Now, in terms of temperatures, playing for that period of time, I got temperatures between 105 and 170 degrees Fahrenheit or 41 degrees Celsius. So temperatures were in line with the S23 Ultra and the S23 Plus. Um, again, that cooling that Samsung had really caps those temps at those, uh, at those numbers, which is pretty nice to see uh, overall. Now, when it comes to uh, audio, you can just, what I want you guys to do is listen to some of the gameplay audio and then some music audio, and then uh, we'll go ahead and finish this video up. Pretty nice speakers. They're loud, they're quite effective, but not as loud as S23 Ultra or some of the other devices. Definitely go ahead and check out my speaker test uh, on the S23 Ultra. The max decibels for I got for the song, which I usually use is about 84.9 uh, dBs. So not as high as the others, but it's still really clear audio and clear sound overall. So I definitely like that in general. Now, I briefly mentioned the cameras at the very beginning of this video and the S23 Plus just take some nice images. I want you guys to let me know if you want to see a comparison to the S23 Ultra and, or any other device and I'll leave those down for you guys below. So when it comes to gaming, I think the S23 Plus is more than capable and will meet the demands of anyone who's looking for that kind of top tier performance uh, that you would expect from a Snapdragon powered device like this and it definitely shows. So you don't actually have to pay that extra amount of money to get the Ultra if you're looking for gaming performance. Now, if you guys also wanna see gaming on the S23 itself, let me know and I'll do that for you. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave your thoughts down below and always enjoy your entertainment.